Hi everybody, I'm Steven from Clutch Pythons, and today we're gonna continue our video series of the best five ball pythons for beginner breeders. And today, we're going to talk about the albino ball python. So this is my albino female giant, well, she's very large, I wouldn't call her giant, very large, possibly gravid, albino female ball python. And this girl cost me $400 plus shipping. I got her online from world-renowned breeder, Brian Gundy. And of you that have been in the ball python game will have at least an idea of Brian Gundy and who he is and what he's contributed. But he didn't have any use for this girl as his mail was, was no longer available. And so I bought her from him. And let me tell you, she is just so amazing. She's big, she eats really well, and her temperament is just so nice. She's very tame. She doesn't, you know, I wouldn't say that snakes love to be handled, but she tolerates it pretty well. She never hissed at me ever. And she is my wife's favorite ball python. Just because of how beautiful she looks. Anyone that's ever had an albino ball python will know what I'm talking about. These guys are just impressive. And they are a recessive project. Believe it or not, this is not my first recessive project that I started working with. But it is the first recessive project that I'm breeding. And... At some future video, I will show you her boyfriend, and he's pretty impressive too. He is not an albino, sort of. Anyways, the reasons why I think the albino ball python is a great snake to start off with as a beginner breeder. Number one, you can get these guys for screaming deals. I got her a ready to breed ball python for $400 plus shipping. It ended up being around $500. But if you get these guys as babies, you can get them as low as $200. And the nice thing about albino is it looks impressive just about no matter what you put it with. You can get high white albinos, you can get high yellow albinos, or you can just get regular albinos like the one that I have here, and they all are unique and they look great. Also, to anyone that's ever wanted uh, an, an impressive ball python or, or never even seen like other than a normal ball python, they will be shocked when you show them what an albino looks like. They've seen them in pictures, but until you handle them in real life, you just don't get the full story. So you can get albinos for a screaming deal. I've even seen, seen some where you could buy like two, a breeding pair for maybe like a discounted price or something. And albinos are common enough that you know, they're not too hard to find, at least locally. I saw uh, an albino ball python for sale in my local markets for $100. Now, if you're looking to spend some money on a snake, but you don't want to spend too much money, $100, just about anybody can afford $100, especially for such a beautiful animal. All right. This girl is getting a little restless. I'm gonna put her back. Okay, let's get back to what we were talking about. So you can find albinos for a really good price. Also, albinos look great. Now, 
The last reason why I think beginner breeders should consider the albino ball python is because albino combines well with other incomplete dominant genes. For example, you can combine albino with the cinnamon and create a high white uh, albino. And you can even extend that even further by adding pastel to it. So you make a pewter albino and those just look awesome. Or you could go the other route. You could add pinstripe to an albino and it creates an almost completely yellow snake. And you can, there are other genes that you can do to get similar effects. Those are the three reasons why I think the albino is a good beginner ball python. Price, how impressive the gene looks all by itself, and how great it looks when you com uh, combine other genes with it. And so it's those reasons today that I think the albino ball python is one of the top five best ball pythons for beginner breeders. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.